Hey everybody, it's Shannon. Um, hope y'all are doing well and able to enjoy this beautiful day despite the pollen in the air that's making us all a little nervous, I think, probably. If you're like me, every symptom um, seems to pop up all of a sudden because of all the pollen, but it's beautiful outside. It's gorgeous. So, hey, Ellen. Um, so I think you guys have probably seen all of these great little scavenger hunts that kids are doing right now um, with um, like looking for rainbows in our neighborhood, that kids are out looking for rainbows and kids are looking for hearts. And my favorite though is the one based on the book, We're Going on a Bear Hunt. And one of the reasons I love that story is because Callie used to love to read that story um, and would do all the, the motions and everything. And um, so I have a soft spot in my heart already for that story. Um, but now it's interesting to me how so many people have, even before the scavenger hunt started, have, um, have started um, talking about how that story going on a bear hunt is so much like what we're all going through right now. You can't go over it, you can't go under it, you can't go around it, you gotta go through it. So um, it has been um, one of my kind of go-to things when I get frustrated and have been feeling like um, that this whole thing is just gonna go on way too long. I have to remind myself, you can't go over it, you can't go under it, you can't go around it, you gotta go through it. So um, so if, you're, if your family's doing the scavenger hunt with the going on a bear hunt, um, come by our house. We have several bears in our window. I don't know if you can see that one right there, that little guy. So anyway, an invitation is open. Come by, pull up in our driveway, honk. Let me wave to you um, from the front porch. But on a deeper note, perhaps, um, one of the things I wanted to share with you today is from one of my favorite people, Rachel Held Evans. And our Love Does group um, that meets on um, Thursday nights um, once a month has been studying her new book, or newer book, called um, Inspired. It's a fantastic book. I encourage you to read it. It's actually on our website under um, resources for adults um, if you're looking to pick up a new book to read. I highly recommend it but she quotes the author Neil Gaiman. And, um, and his quote is probably from somebody else, but his quote is this, fairy tales are more than true, not because they tell us dragons exist, but because they tell us dragons can be defeated. Fairy tales are more than true, not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us dragons can be defeated. And then Rachel Held Evans goes on to say, this is what scripture taught me, that a boat full of animals can survive a catastrophic flood, that seas can be parted and lions tamed, that girls can be prophets and warriors and queens, that a kid's lunch of fish and bread can be multiplied to feed 5,000 people. You can't go over it, you can't go under it, you can't go around it, you gotta go through it. It seems to me that that's what scripture tells us about everything in life. That we can and will go through it, around it, over it, under it, no, but through it. And that we never do that alone, ever. It's just like being on Facebook Live right now and I see all of you all watching. We're not alone in this. So I hope that you are feeling well, that you're being well, and that you will reach out to your pastors if you have any needs or concerns. Also, don't forget about your great deacons like Marilyn Brown, who is on board right now. All kinds of people who can do incredible things to help us in these times um, when we might need some assistance. So. We love you guys, and we hope that um, we see you very soon. But until then, we're just going to keep going through it. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you on Sunday.